I want to introduce our first uh, speaker today. Uh, it's our own Hillary Carter from the Linux Foundation. She's our SVP of Research and Communications. Uh, she supports the development of open source research projects and publications. Uh, she's produced decision useful insights, world-class communications to help broaden our understanding of you know, what is going on in emerging technologies and open innovation communities. Today, she's gonna to discuss the data-driven insights from LF Research. Please welcome to the stage, Hillary Carter. Good morning, Open Source Summit. What a joy it is to be here in Vancouver with you all today. Uh, I'm so excited to describe some of the initiatives that we have going on at LF Research that are impacting our community, so let me dig right in. If you're not familiar with LF Research, I invite you to check us out. Please scan the QR code and discover uh, the library of insights that we have describing open source opportunities, challenges, and um, use cases, and how our communities are making an impact. What are the trends? What are the challenges? And what is the data that can help inform your projects and your organizations? Uh, so this is why we exist, to add net new value. And uh, I do hope you'll, you'll check us out. And to date, we've, we've published more than 30 unique research projects along industry verticals, technology horizontals, and across regions and communities. Today, I'm extremely pleased to uh, introduce our newest report. Jim mentioned it in his opening remarks yesterday, but the tech uh, state of uh, tech talent in 2023 is out. And this is something that you've got to check out. All of us understand how difficult finding and retaining technical talent is. Uh, and in spite of what the headlines are saying, uh, this report digs into the facts. We can, in fact, leave the headlines behind. The report describes the realities pertaining to the need for upskilling retention, and pre-employment certification. So read this report and you'll find that the findings may very well surprise you when it comes to the state of, of technical hiring today. We also hope that you'll consider LF Research as a mechanism for your voice to be heard, for you to share your expertise. And we've got new surveys which will allow you to do just that. So here they are. As we've done for several years, we are launching the 2023 State of the OSPO survey in partnership with numerous community organizations. And we do this to describe what's taking place around the world as it relates to the OSPO and open source best practices. Where are OSPOs emerging? Who is leading them? What are the KPIs that they're setting up? And how can you get more involved and why? So if you have something to say about the OSPO in your organization, or if there isn't one, please do take a few minutes to take this survey. Another survey in the field is our World of Open Source Global Spotlight 2023, from which we will create a series of regional reports. Last year, we launched the first in a geographic series of research specific to Europe. And that report was really valuable, helping Linux Foundation Europe guide programming and uh, strategize on what the priorities were within that particular geographic region. And so we wanted to do this on a global scale this year. So again, this is another opportunity for you to participate, to share your knowledge. Let us know what's happening in open source. Let us know what the emerging technologies are, what the needs are, and, uh, and what you perceive the value of open source to be within your organization or your project. Next, I want to talk about data-driven initiatives that are inspired by a recently published research project. And these are both very near and dear to my heart uh, from a personal interest point of view and also from, a, uh, from my previous career experience. So the report that was the catalyst for these new initiatives is what we lovingly call the fragmentation report. Earlier this year, we published a report called Enabling Global Collaboration how open source leaders are confronting the challenges of fragmentation. And the report explored the extent to which fragmentation existed across, across global open source communities, technological fragmentation, um, waste and inefficiencies, 
um, linguistic fragmentation, and so on. And the findings were incredibly insightful. It identified, it identified numerous opportunities for how we can overcome fragmented open source communities and make open source as a global uh, phenomenon much more efficient. The important finding that inspired these upcoming initiatives that I'm about to describe is this one, that leaders identified the need for open source projects to become more aligned where they have similar objectives. Uh, and this was really important. The, the waste of having multiple projects basically doing more or less the same thing is truly inefficient. So we thought we'd begin at the Linux Foundation to at least try to align important projects along uh, similar objectives and had projects that had common goals. And the first of this relates to digital trust. So today I'm introducing Linux Foundation Digital Trust. This is where open source projects and decentralized applications that are powering the infrastructure for the digital economy through digital asset infrastructure, this is where they all come together. This is the hub where you can learn about which LF projects are supporting digital trust initiatives. And the kinds of initiatives that we're talking about relate to digital asset custody, Think about wallets, digital currency issuance, central bank digital currency, and cryptocurrency and, and crypto assets, non-fungible tokens, um, digital asset exchange, supply chain, security, uh, supply chain traceability, and trusted supply chains, digital identity and credentials. All of these important initiatives can be found through Linux Foundation Digital Trust. And these are the open source projects at Linux Foundation that are leading the way in the digital trust ecosystem. Projects like the Open Wallet Foundation, specific to building infrastructure for digital asset custody. Projects like Hyperledger Foundation, Open Metaverse Foundation. These are on the bleeding edge of um, the digital asset and digital commerce ecosystem. And the industries that are leading their implementation Finos and AgStack. These are the project communities that are industry specific and are at the forefront of deploying and implementing trusted technologies. So welcome to LF Digital Trust. The next initiative is LF Sustainability. Here we are mapping open source projects that help to advance the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. If you're not familiar with the SDGs, as they're so-called, these are time-bound goals that encourage global economic development to keep sustainability issues in mind. Issues like poverty, clean water and sanitation, quality education, gender equality. These are fundamental if we are going to have sustainable growth in our planet. And we need to address some of these issues urgently, ideally by 2030. So that's what the SDGs are all about. And this is a hub where you can learn which Linux Foundation projects are aligned with specific sustainable development goals. Here you can also find a gateway to a community landscape that's more than uh, just LF projects. It's hosted by LF Energy and builds on the work of open sustainable technology, mapping all kinds of open source projects that are advancing the energy ecosystem. And this is an open invitation for you to contribute to research in this important area. In September, at Open Source Summit Europe, we're going to publish a report that dives deep into this SDG issue. So here's the exciting news. All of the projects in open source advance SDG 9, industry, infrastructure, and innovation. That's the really happy story. Everything we do provides critical infrastructure for efficient, cost-effective innovation all around the world that's democratic and accessible. So that's the good news story here. And the UN Global Con uh, Compact made the connection as long ago as 2017, identifying this opportunity for open source projects to advance innovation worldwide and um, impact, most consequently, the technology sector, a trillion dollar industry. So this is a really exciting story, and I don't think we're quite aware of how significant the work we do is as it relates to innovative opportunities all around the world. 
but there are gaps. Uh, we do not have many projects that, that address advancements in both clean water and sanitation, which is SDG 6, and life below water, which is SDG 14. Clean water and sanitation, think about things like fresh drinking water, uh, uh, wastewater management, and overall sanitation in communities all over the world. This is a fundamental human need. Life below water. Because 50% of the oxygen we breathe comes from the ocean, this is a very important issue. And phytoplankton living on Earth's, uh, the ocean surface generates that oxygen. But all marine life forms are under threat from rising ocean temperatures, chemical pollution, um, plastic waste, and overfishing. And so when we go to the aquarium tonight, maybe we can find some inspiration to think strategically and carefully about how we can help advance the protection of life below water and think about the sustainability of our planet and what open source can do. So let's do more in these particular areas. Finally, I welcome you all to please stay in touch. Uh, subscribe to LF Research and learn about our new initiatives, learn about our new research projects, um, and we'll let you know when we have new surveys uh, that are in the field. So stay in touch. Uh, thank you so much for your attention, and I'll see you at Puppy Palooza. <laughs>